Hey folks, you are tuned into the Free Matt Podcast. I usually am a libertarian roundtable discussion. We pull up articles. I'll usually have General Patrick Flynn with me. General Patrick Flynn, both of us have had conflicting work schedules, health issues, dealing with family. He is alive. He's doing well. Send his well wishes if you need to. I wanted to start my... I actually wanted to do an un, defending the undefendable. And it's probably one of the people I could say, I, I, I don't understand why this person's popular besides the, the weird, I'm going to call it the Holly weird set. And this person is James Charles, the male YouTube makeup specialist. And I think he was cover girl at one time. Yes, I know that doesn't add up, but bear with me. And you would ask me why I would defend this person. I want to give you my attitude about him to start with. I think the dude is a kook. I think it's crazy craziness. I think it's weird. It's it's so not even close to reality. And I think... People like him are puffed up by folks looking for a weird hero. And it, that's the makeup people. Obviously, any any venue for electronic video, haha. And it just, it gave me the creeps. I thought it was like made up. And somebody asked me, he's like, well, why do you have a problem with makeup? I have a problem with makeup on men unless you're in stage or it's Halloween. And yes, I know that's obtuse, but men have scars. Men are cut up. We're, we're animals. Yes, I've had, you know, I have bags under my eyes. I've got cuts. I've got craters. I've got uh, where I've been cut. I've already said that, but bigger cuts, deeper cuts. I've got... I imagine, yes, I'm going to love this one, but I've been to a funeral of, of somebody I loved very much who had severe scarring on their knuckles, which I know how that feels. And one of the weird things is that this person had makeup on their knuckles. And I know they, the, the people at the, at the, uh, funeral home were trying to be respectful and not make it look like he was fighting. And yes, he was fighting. But back to what I was saying, I think that this is a made up way to try to make weird people feel welcomed and off people feel like they're not off. And the irony is I actually feel for a lot of these people. It's not sympathy and it's not empathy. I think they're being used and they're being used to make somebody else a dollar. It's very disingenuous. Now back to James Charles, James Charles accused of, I want to say sexting. I'll have to put an article below. I'm running without my notes here. And there's a reason why I think he was accused of sexting or, uh, some inappropriate communications with somebody under the age of 18. And I say, I want to say the person was 16 or even before then. And the irony is that I had seen somebody bring it up that James Charles might have not been committing a crime and YouTube took him off the partnership program, which I'm not, I'm not a part of whatever. And a big chunk of his change, you know, his money, his income being out of YouTube and, and he probably lost some sponsorships. Don't quote me on that. If he did. Okay. If he didn't, I will retract it obviously, but you look at this, he didn't commit a crime and it was just, if he didn't commit a crime, it was just kind of a a faux pas or socially kind of iffy and the last time I checked in many, many states of the union, 
the, we'll just call it consent, the age of consent in certain states. And there were several, it was 16. There were a handful, including California, that was 18. And there's a reason why I said it that way. That's where James Charles, I believe he's, his home is. I don't know if, if he has a business headquarters somewhere else. I hope he does for tax reasons. But you look at, you look at what he's doing and if it wasn't illegal and it was just hairy, like hairy looks bad. I ask you, I don't care if you're a weirdo or not. If you wanted to basically make somebody look like a criminal, make somebody look like a criminal and then, and then, you know, knock their feet out from them. And he admits, okay, it was a little up to, it was wrong what he did and what have you. But if it wasn't illegal, are you still going to hit him up to that standard? And I've asked people that too. This is like one of their darlings. And, and you know what? I'm going to defend this guy. Ask me to put some gloves on because if they're going to come after one of their darlings, they're coming after you. they're, They're actually turning on their own people now. They've turned on actual transgender people. They, uh, various, and this was a left leaning YouTube channel and they're turning against James Charles. They're turning against their own people. I was like, who's next? And you know what? I don't make money off of this, but maybe you need to start defending the, the, the Holly weird is turning on Holly weird. Either you defend them or you say, Hey, you're a bunch of, just say you're a bunch of clowns. Like, even if you don't like James Charles, say, Hey, Hey, uh, venues, Hey, YouTube, whoever I said, you're, you're people, you're turning on your own damn people. I said, you're crap. And, and you, you you know, terms of service or whatever said, you know what? I don't know if they're just drying them out by the time any of you see this. Yeah. I hope, I hope. I hope things straighten themselves out. I hope he leaves and I hope he goes somewhere else and he finds out that there's plenty of people that got screwed by the Holly weird venue people. And you know what? Imagine somebody else. I'm going to have to rant on this one too, but look at it. Just look at what's happening. They're turning on your own people. And you know what? Somebody else around the corner, they're coming for you too. They're coming for the Holly weird crowd. And you know what? If you think that these people are going to stick up for you, your own people, nah. I don't care if it's men who like makeup, transgender people, people with uh, uh, non-binary or you know identify non-binary. One of the many other ways to identify. Uh, I don't care if it's you know actual uh, the gay community or lesbians or what have you, or one of the other rainbow of letters. Just. They're coming after you. Defend the undefendable. I wasn't there to defend Milo. I wasn't there to defend uh, a lot of the weirdo, a lot of the people I disagreed with. And maybe it's time to defend the undefendable. I couldn't defend Alex Jones. I, I need to, you need to start defending who's left. I guarantee you they're unpersoning people every day. It's not just people on your side. So, you know what? Defend the undefendable. All right? Bless you.